it's beer review time on Cheer to Beers. My name is Travis, and on this review, we are looking at a pretty well known beer, at least I hope so. Um, this one is uh, made by Anheuser Busch, and this is Budweiser. Let's see if you can read that can there. This is their um, beer that's probably been around since they've been a brewery. I didn't really look up the information, but I'm sure it has. They make, you know, Bud Light, all that stuff. I'm sure everybody knows about that. Well, this is Budweiser, not the light version, the regular version. And uh, when I go out, I actually tend to prefer this beer over the light version a lot. This one seems to have a little more flavor. And uh, it's uh, not so bad when I go out and want a, want a beer and it's pretty cheap. Uh, I don't mind grabbing one of these. It's, uh, it's not too bad. But I'll give you the full review coming up here soon. But uh, let me go ahead and see what we have. Uh, this is a 1.8 fluid ounces, 24 ounce can. 5 points, uh, yeah, 5 percent alcohol, 145 calories. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I know some of the cans uh, say you know brewed with these rice in this beer. I know that. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, they definitely use rice. They use the finest hops rice. That's what it says on the bottle. This is a cool American flag bottle, Fourth of July. So it uh, makes good sense to uh, review this beer. I mean, <laughs> some people hate on these beers because they don't have any flavor. I'm not really like that, you know, I, I don't mind these beers, they, um, the breweries are really good at what they do, they produce the same beer over and over and over again, and it tastes the exact same every time you try it, so you got to give them props for that, they do great marketing, so um, let's go ahead and uh, get into the review of Anheuser-Busch Budweiser. Okay, in the pour in my awesome Budweiser glass, you can see that uh, it has a you know, pretty much gold color, really, really yellowy gold, some carbonation, a lot of bubbles on the bottom of this glass. I'm not sure, you probably can't see that, but uh, yeah, a ton of bubbles on the bottom of the glass. A small film head that's kind of sticking around right now, uh, not too bad. This glass, is, uh, this glass is awesome. I picked it up at a, a store. It has to be the coolest thing. I'm sure you can see that handle there little Budweiser bottle for the handle, that's pretty sweet. Uh, but let's go ahead and give this beer a smell. Uh, yeah, right up front you can tell there's a, there's a lot of sweetness. You can tell this is an adjunct blogger, you know, you get that smell. That's, it's not a great smelling beer. These beers aren't made to be um, uh, good smelling beers. They're just, they are what they are. They don't smell great. Most people drink from the can or the bottle, and I typically do, but when I review a beer, I like to pour it in the glass. This one just really isn't anything great in the smell right now. Yeah, you, you get this kind of corn smell. Um, maybe I don't need, the rice doesn't really have a smell, so you're not really getting that. You're getting just this kind of sweet malt corn smell. Maybe a uh, very, very tiny hint of hops. Not a lot of smell in this beer. Okay, everyone, cheers on the uh, Budweiser. Let's give this thing a taste. I've had it before, but I haven't reviewed it, so here's my review. Okay, yeah, it's a... Uh, not bad. Uh, this one actually is, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I like it. <laughs> Surprising. It's uh, It doesn't have that super, super light, you know, taste to it. It has a little bit of body, a little tiny bit of body, and a little bit of, and, and a little bit of taste to it. It's not, it's, it goes down really, really smooth, and it's a really easy drinking beer, but some of the lighter beers, I feel like they have kind of an off taste to them, or something, they just, it's not, as pleasing as a beer that's not light. You know, I think to make them light, they take they do take away some of that flavor. Yeah, there's not a huge amount of flavor. It's a little bit of sweetness um, from the malt, a little, maybe a little bit of hops, but nothing, not much else in this beer. It's very, very light, very, very smooth. I, I, you know, I, I'm not sure why people drink the Bud Light. It's it's surprising. This is this is 100. And, what did I say? 145 calories. Bud Light's like I think 100 or 90 calories or something like that. And uh, but this one has 0.8% more alcohol. Um, so I'm, you know, I mean, you're getting more alcohol in Budweiser than you are in Bud Light. Most people might not know that, but you are. So it's, it's almost worth the extra calories to drink this beer. You'd be spending less money. Um, it would get you, um, I guess, get you drunk faster. But uh, it's, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I picked this over Bud Light all day. I don't really drink Bud Light at all. Okay, yeah, just a really, really nice, crisp, refreshing beer. Really easy to drink, really smooth. Um, it, it's just a, a pretty decent beer so far. But let me go ahead and sip on this one for a little bit longer, and I'll come back to my final thoughts, my rating on Budweiser. <clears throat> okay, I put the uh, rest of the can back in the fridge so it stays cold for a little bit longer. But I finished uh, 
a little bit more of this glass. It's already starting to make me burp because the uh, carbonation is so high. Um, but overall, this beer's not really uh, not really too bad. I'm uh, kind of surprised by it. I think uh, it's a it's a, a really solid macro lager. It's a one that I would definitely um, enjoy another one. And uh, I, I I do drink this when I go out. You know, places that I go, it's a dollar beer night. You know, you're not getting craft beer for a buck. So you know, I, I drink Budweiser. And uh, most places I go, if I don't know how much the beer is. Um, if they don't have anything good, I don't know how much the beer is. I'll usually get a Budweiser because I know it's probably going to be pretty cheap, and it uh, has enough taste to hold me over, and it has a little bit more alcohol, so I prefer this one. Um, so, if you guys, if you haven't, if you're drinking Bud Light, and you're not too concerned about the calories, I mean, just start drinking Budweiser. There's no point not to. I don't. I really don't understand that. You know, some people drink Bud Light just to drink it, and I don't really know why. Budweiser is the same price. Um, tastes a lot better, but light, I think to me, tastes bad compared to this uh, good beer. So this one doesn't smell too bad, tastes pretty good, goes down really smooth, keep it cold, good summer beer, good beer for a hot day. Pick a six pack up of you, never try this, you need to try it. Um, solid, solid beer. So I'm going to give up my Wizard 5 out of 10. Um, and if for those of you who saw my PBR review, I probably should have gave that beer a 5 out of 10 too, because it's pretty much up there with this one. Um, I just uh, sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm still getting into this beer reviewing, I feel like I have. A pretty credible taste, but um, my ratings sometimes are vary a little bit. But uh, some, and, the, and the macro loggers are hard for me, uh, harder for me to rate because it's a. I feel like they should be on their own scale. But this one, I'm going to give it a five, and uh, it's definitely worth something trying out if you haven't. If you if you if you know if you don't like macro loggers at all, you're probably not going to like this. But I think it's definitely worth a try if you do uh, drink you know uh, the occasional Bud Light, Coors Light, Miller Light, anything like that. This is going to be a little bit of a step up. A little bit of a better beer so until next time make sure you subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and until next time cheers